Yo, what's going on YouTube? How you guys doing? Welcome back to another attempt at getting our, I guess, Rancor Roulette is what we'd call it. Um, this is another attempt that basically what I'm trying to do is a challenge where I'm trying to Mori all four survivors in the endgame using uh, Rancor, which is a perk where you're able to Mori the obsession in the endgame. So, the idea behind this, just to quickly cover, I already did one attempt at this, and it went a little bit better than I thought it would. But the general idea behind this is I just run Rancor and Nemesis, and then a bunch of perks like like uh, No Way Out and Remember Me. That, that makes it so that I have more time in the late game to work with. And then in the late game, I try to like get the obsession to swap to people and then mori them and see if I can kill all four before they leave. Now, this challenge is like super RNG, and I need the survivors to behave in a certain way in order for it to happen. So this is probably going to take many, many attempts. But... Last time I did it with Bubba, this time I'm going to try it with Pig. I have an idea, okay? I have some ideas. So, um, something I wanted to try is, I think the hardest part about this is just keeping people in the game, right? Like, keeping people from just leaving the match. Uh, or, you know, actually, like, getting each other up and leaving, right? Because, like, so far the general idea has been, like, once the, last, once the last generator is done, I need to have, like, a lot of pressure. Like, multiple people downed. I need them to not immediately go do the gates and try to leave, right? I mean, I know they can't because of No Way Out, but I want them to take as long as they can in the end game, right? Um, and I had an idea that, like, Pig could help a lot with that, right? Especially because her, you know, because like her, her like reverse bear traps. So the idea here is I want to try to put on as many reverse bear traps as I can in like the late game. Like when they have maybe like two or one gens left. I don't know. It might be too greedy to do one gen left. Maybe like two, maybe even three. Like maybe I can start putting them on at three gens. I don't know. I'm also running crated gear, so it takes longer to take off the bear traps, so, you know, it just buys me even more time. And I'm also running rule set number two, which makes it so that they can't see the jigsaw boxes until their trap is activated. So, if I can put any reverse bear traps on people when there's one gen left, that would be perfect. Like, that would be the most ideal. Because they wouldn't be able to see any of the jigsaw boxes until that final gen pops. And that's when we can go around killing people and, you know, hopefully... And they wouldn't be able to leave, right? Because they, because they'd have an active bear trap. So hopefully that would like buy us even more time than we already had in the in, in, in the end game, and hopefully can help us snowball in the end. That's that's kind of the idea. We basically want to get a ton of pressure right around one gen left. Like that's when we want to get a ton of pressure. The whole way up until that, we're kind of just setting up for that point. And also, it's really really important that we find the obsession the second the last gen pops, so we kill the first person right away. I've actually considered changing remember. I, I considered changing remember me for bitter murmur. To help me out with that, but we're gonna try it without and see how it goes. If if it doesn't work without bitter remember, then maybe we'll try it um, either in the second game or just in the next video where I, where I attempt this. Because I'm honestly assuming I'm not gonna get it. Um, I'm also gonna burn. This might seem stupid, but I'm gonna burn like a mori of some kind, maybe like a yellow mori. I'm gonna burn a yellow mori so that way when I mori the first obsession in in, in, in end game, they'll, they'll they'll maybe be less suspicious. They'll just be like, oh yeah, the killer has a Mori, no big deal. Like maybe they won't realize what's happening, you know? Hopefully. Because I think if they realize what's happening, it's gonna hurt me. So I'm gonna burn that just to like quote unquote hide what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Um but yeah, that's it. Anyway, let's, let's go give it a try. Okay, let's try this. Um So I think another thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need the survivors to be like uh not too good, I guess, is the easiest way to say this. Um, because I'm playing Pig, and Pig is not actually, like, that strong of a killer. Like, the reason why I did it with Bubba last time is because I wanted a killer that I felt, like, capable, right? Like, Bubba in Endgame is terrifying. Like, when there's not that many pallets on the map, Bubba is goddamn terrifying. You know what I mean? Well, they know I have them. They, they, I was really hoping she would greed that more. They kind of already know I have Nemesis, which sucks. Um, I was hoping she would, like, greed that and try to loop it instead of just, like, instantly throwing it. But anyway, um, yeah, like the reason why I felt so good about doing it on Bubba is because at least Bubba is like a strong killer. You know what I mean? Hey, good fake. See, this guy's good. This is like, this, uh, this is what I don't need. I don't need survivors like this that are good. I need survivors that are bad. That's what I need. This guy's going to end up being a problem in, 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 in late game, I think. Hopefully his teammates are bad because if, if all the survivors are like this dude, it's going to be fucking tough to get down and shit. Okay, where is everybody? There was two people there and then there was one person over there on that gen. Which is actually fine. I want them to get gens done. That's actually, it's, it's a okay with me. I mean, she surely has dead heart. Yep, there she goes. Uh, I'm not putting a hat on her, though. I'm not putting a hat on her. This is this is good because we got a couple stacks. Remember me? We got a couple pallets down. Here's the thing, too. We don't want to get too many pallets down. Like, I want to get rid of pallets, but I don't want to get rid of too many pallets. It's really weird because I want some pallets in the, in the end game. I need, as a matter of fact, I don't want them. I need them. I need there to be some pallets in the end game 
so that I can get stunned and, um, you know, change the obsession so that I can worry different people, right? Like, it's not even just a thing I want, it's something I need for this challenge. But at the same time, I don't want there to be every pallet, right? Like, I want there to only be some pallets. What you doing, buddy? Like, I want there to only be some. Because if there's too many pallets, then it gets, like, hard to win, right? Then it's just, like, hard to down people because they have too many resources. So, the, so, like, there needs to be, like, a balance of, like, some pallets, but also not an insane amount. Okay. So far, so good with the other survivors. <laughs> Maybe that guy on the hook will be the only problem. Maybe that'll be the only problem. We'll see. Good dead hard. All right. She has dead hard, too. So, the Nancy. Okay. I almost put a hat on her out of reflex. I think once we get down to two gens, I might start putting hats on. Maybe. Like, three gens feels too early. But once we get down to two gens, I think that's maybe when it's safe to start doing it. Like, I, I imagine they're probably going to pop that gen, uh, like, sort of soon. I don't really want a three gen, though. Like, I don't really want to put them in, like, a three gen scenario, because then it probably... I think all three of them are there. Those heals were fast. I think every single survivor is down here. Hello. I'm pretty confident that they're all here. I should have smacked her. I didn't, I didn't... I don't know what the fuck she was doing. I thought she would just insta-vault. I don't know what that was all about. I should have smacked her to get a fucking stack and remember me. Shit. Oopsie. Hello, Meg. I heard someone running behind me. I think it was Nancy, but I'm not 100%. She might be hovering for a flashlight. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, if she goes for flashlight plays, that'll be really, really good if she does that, like, late game. That'll be super, super good for me. Hello. Yeah, you're not going to get the flashlight, but I like that you're going for it. Um... Okay. So far, so good. I need to get more stacks to remember me, though. Yeah, let me hit you. Yeah, let me hit you. Yeah, let me give you the old smackery doodah. Hey, thanks, man. Thanks. I don't even care if I get this hook or not. I think I do anyway, but I don't even care if I do. At the end of the day, I just want them. I, I just want them to remember me, stacks. I can force her dead hard here. I think she just used it. All right, she seems pretty good. Let's see. Let's see how she plays this. I think I can bait her into fucking up here. Do I get the hit or do I just force the pallet? I just force the pallet. That's okay, though. I think getting rid of strong pallets like this is good. Like, I, I want there to be pallets left, but the pallets that I want there to be left are, like, weak pallets. Like, I want, like... Like, that pallet right there, I'm kind of sad got thrown. Because that pallet kind of sucks. Right? I want there to be weaker pallets left, and I want the... The, uh... The strong pallets gone. Hey, friend. See, do I put on a bear trap here? Mm, it might be early. I don't know. I think it's a little bit too early. I have a lot of map pressure right now. I have a lot, a lot of map pressure right now. I'm gonna... Uh, uh, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to judge because I'm gonna want all four to have them. You know what I mean? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put it on. At the end of the day, I think it's better to get some value out of it because, like, if, I, if, if they end up finishing all the gens and I still have bear traps left, then I'm getting literally nothing out of them. You know what I mean? That'll hopefully be good. Maybe? I gotta be careful because that's her second hook and also that Nancy's on her second hook, too. I gotta be a little careful not to go too hard here, right? Like, I need to make sure that they get saved. We'll get this Fang. We'll let the other guy, like, pick everyone up. See, like, <sighs> I think I have too much pressure right now. I need them to finish that gen. Maybe I shouldn't have had it, that guy. Like, I don't know. It's so hard to decide, dude. Because, like, if they try to take their hat off, even though they don't see the boxes, then I might get fucked over. Mm, maybe I should have waited until there was one more gen done. Shit, I don't know, dude. No, see, these are the pallets that I want to stay up. Stop camping them, dude. Not like this. Not like this. Well, I'm surprised I didn't land. I thought I was close enough. This thing right here seems kind of okay, too. She doesn't seem too bad. Hmm. Someone's here. Don't know who. There's no, there's no pallet here, dog. Okay, I gotta be careful with the other Fang, not this guy. The guy whose name is Thongs. <laughs> I gotta be careful with Thongs. He's on Death Hook. He's on Death Hook. Nancy wasn't. No, no actually, I didn't hook Nancy, so she's actually good. She's she, she's she's kind of big chilling. Oh, I don't get that. Interesting. I thought I had enough distance that I got that. That's okay. I kind of want one more gen to pop. Interesting. Still faking it, huh? Good dead hard. Yeah, this survivor's pretty solid, too. So, her and the Nancy are the ones I have to kind of look out for as far as, like, not having an easy chase. Do I, I don't think I had her right. I'm going to slug her, and I'm going to anticipate a gen popping soon. I think a gen's going to pop soon. Hopefully, two gens don't pop soon. I need, to, I need to protect this three gen down here, at least momentarily. Yeah, there's some people here. 
They don't know what the fuck is happening. She's on death hook. I think she was looking for for I think she was looking for uh Okay, that other guy got picked up over there. I think she was looking for jigsaw boxes is what that was, right? She didn't seem like she was too interested in doing gens. She was just hiding and I think looking for jigsaw boxes. I don't want to kill her though. She's on death hook. I can't actually hook her. Wait, who's my last second no way out? Oh shit, I haven't been paying attention to no way out. Oh shit. It's not Nancy. It's not I think it was that Feng that I just downed, right? Or was it Meg? It's either this Fang or it's the Meg. I'm not sure who. No, it's the Meg. I downed this guy before, right? Shit, I think it's the Meg. Ah, fuck, I forgot about No Way Out. Oh my god, I've been too focused on, like, timing my bear traps. See, what I'm worried about is I'm worried that the Nancy's on that back left. That's what I'm worried about. This pal is really strong. I'd be totally cool with this one going down. A-OK -okay with that one. I'm gonna let her go. She's, uh, she's gonna be oblivious. So hopefully she'll be at least a little bit paranoid. I'm worried that Nancy's on this gen and they're on that gen. And I'm worried they're going to pop that gen and this gen at like the same time. That's what I'm scared of right now. Because that would fuck me over really, really hard. Like that would be not great. Okay, Nancy's not on that gen. Is she on this gen? Or are they just on that gen? Or maybe that Fang had Unbreakable. No, she's on this gen. I was going to say, maybe they're not like, like honestly, maybe she's not on any gen at all. Maybe she's just had Unbreakable, but no. Wrong. Wrong, they were indeed on the gen. <laughs> Somebody else was right there too. Okay. I'm gonna kick this pallet. I should have done it a long time ago. I was hoping maybe someone had any means necessary, but it doesn't seem like they do. It's kind of sad. All right, um, the Nancy will die. Ugh, do I want a bear trapper yet? I don't, I want, their, I want them to pop one more gen. Why isn't she dead hard? I know she has it. Oh, oh, perfect, perfect. Literally perfect. Okay. I need to try to put on as many reverse bear traps as I can now. Uh, again, the, the, the homie Thongs is on death hook. So if I down him, I need to just hat him, but not hook him. And I need to also locate the obsession when the last gen pops. We kind of have a three gen here, so it shouldn't be too bad to keep track of. But we'll see. I already, and like, and like, and okay, yeah, and that one guy, that one guy actually did take off his bear traps, so that, I think that was a bad use. I think that was a very bad use of bear traps. I probably shouldn't have done that. There's a bunch of crows landing here. I think this is my last second of way out, too. I think this Meg is the last stack. But chasing her is very, very solid here. She has quick and quiet. That's interesting. I wonder if she's a head-on gamer, or is she just like an adept Meg? Because <laughs> I think she has sprint burst, too. Maybe she's an adept Meg. Maybe she has adrenaline, too. Huh. Hmm, interesting. This is probably the gen they'll get done eventually. Wow, they're not even on it. Interesting. I thought they would I thought they would get on it immediately after the unhook. See, I'm worried that they're gonna start taking off their fucking bear traps now, dude. Like I wonder if they know where they are. Don't go for flashlights, fuck you. Hey, don't try to break my noed, fuck you. I don't even have it, but if I did, fuck you. Also, no Nancy, don't go for flashlights. I will I will literally kill you. I will literally murder you, okay? Don't do it. Stop it. Stop. You need to live. You must live. You must live. You must live. Please, live. It should be my last second no way out. I need to get one more bear trap down on somebody. I can even down that Meg that, or, that, or that, that Fang that was running around. Like this guy. This guy doesn't have a bear trap. I can down him. Now, I again, ideally, it depends on how this goes, right? Do these survivors, like, halt all gen progress until they get, off, uh, until they get their reverse bear traps off? She's gonna fake that. Yeah, I, I can already tell. And then she's gonna dead heart of this pallet. Ah, she didn't make it to the pallet. <laughs> she's not on death hook, right? It was just the thong guy that was on death hook. I think I could hook this guy. If this guy ends up dying here, I'm gonna feel so stupid. But I'm pretty sure she's not on death hook. As a matter of fact, wait, I shouldn't hook her. I should slug her. Because if they pop the gen now, I'm gonna wander around here like an idiot. I can moor her. I can kill her with Rancor. And, they're, and, and they might just think it's a Mori. I don't really have that much pressure right now, though, which kind of sucks. Also, that wasn't... I think she might have been my last second no way out, because I didn't get my fourth stack. So this is actually not great. That's one. I need to get some people... And we have one active bear... We only have one active bear trap, though. Only one active bear trap. There's two people injured. There's a pallet right here. Yeah, I don't know if this will be it. I don't know if this will be it or not. We do have a lot of stacks to remember me. Like, this guy needs to stun me somehow. Mm. I, I, I kind of wanted to let him get away. 
But then I decided to down him last second, and then I got dead. Are you serious? Are you serious right now, auto aim? Are you fucking kidding me? The problem is now that is, 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 is that there's no pallets down here, right? Like I can slug them because that's good pressure, I guess. But the but but, but like, the issue is that, the issue is that there's no pallets. Like I need them. I need them. I need, I need her to stun me. There's a pallet right there. There should be a pallet here too, right? I don't think we use this pallet yet. I need her to stun me. That's what I need. There we go. Okay. She now saw that she's exposed and she's like, oh fuck, wait, Rancor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on a minute. I thought she'd double vault. I'll be honest, I thought for sure she'd double vault. Okay. They 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 just picked up that thing. See, like this is the issue now, is that like this pallet is just so strong. Okay, we 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 got her though. We got her. We got her. She already deadhearted earlier. So we can kill her real quick. And there's no shit. There's no gate progress right now. And there's remember me up. So the gates will take like I don't know, like 40 seconds or some shit. Or close to. And I know that they're both down here. Because this is where I this is where I slugged the Meg. Oh, this is close. Oh, this is close. This is close. This is close. I don't I don't think this is it though. They're both full health. I have to hit them twice, and also they need to stun me. I want to stealth to draw them out. Okay, they're right there. But also, I'm scared that they'll make it to the gate. Like, right now, if this Feng makes it to a gate and, like, opens it, I'm fucked, right? I need to, like... I can't... I don't think I can commit to that. I gotta I gotta get them injured, and then I gotta keep an eye on the gates to make sure they're not opening them. They are. She, she was here. But that Meg could make it to that other gate. Like, this is where it's so hard, right? They can keep just going gate to gate to gate. If she can stun me quickly... We use this pallet already, which sucks. If she can stun me... And then I can mori her very quickly. That Meg probably wouldn't be able to exit that, uh, open that gate. There's a pallet right there. There's a pallet right there. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay, 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 okay. I need to down her, like, now. Shit, that Meg might get the gate open. Let me chase the Meg off the gate. Because I'm... Feel like she might be on it. She's not on it. The problem is it's also Hatch. She healed. She healed. Shit. Okay, she healed. I think she's behind me somewhere. I think she's in this building somewhere. Fuck. If Hatch spawns on her now, I'm fucked. I need to I need to try to make sure she doesn't get Hatch. While also making sure she doesn't get the doors. Dude, maybe I should have burned a half a Hatch offering. Instead of the fake Mori. I need to find Hatch. I really, 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 really gotta find Hatch. She's right here. She's right here behind this rock. I know she's down there by Shaq. I just saw a crow fly. No! No, man! Fuck! We were so close! No! I just had to find the hatch! Fuck, dude! Oh my god, that's so heartbreaking! No, dude! Oh, my heart! Oh, we were so fucking close, man! God damn it! If, if hatch just happened to spawn where I was running around and I kicked it, that literally was it. I could have chased her around and I could have like, I could have literally just let her make it to a pallet. Oh my god, that was so perfect. Fuck, dude. No. Okay, I'm burning hatch offerings from now. I'm burning hatch offerings from now on. I, I think I think from now on it's got to be hatch offerings. But can it? I don't know. Will hatch offerings even help? Because it, if they know where hatch is, then does that even help me? I don't know because then they'll know where to go. Ah, shit, dude. Oh no, fuck. I don't know if a hatch offering would even help. Like hypothetically, if I had a hatch offering for Shaq there, would that even, that would hurt me more than help me, right? Because while I'm mooring the last guy, she would just already be on her way to, 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 to Shaq. Like if it was a hidden offering, then maybe. I think it needs to be random. I think I need to let it be random. I just gotta get luckier. Man, that hurt. That one fucking hurt, dude. We had it. We literally had it, dude. Fuck. Uh, all right, well, I mean, we got to at least give it another attempt, right? So I guess let's go round two. God, man, fuck. That hurts. That one hurts. Let's go round two. Wow, we got the exact same map. What the fuck? What are the chances? What are the chances of that? I mean, honestly, 
the chances don't even seem that low. Like, like, like mathematically, the chances are low, but this seems to happen to me quite a bit. Like, I feel like how many how many videos does this shit happen? I'm gonna say the same thing I make. I say every time. I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record, and I'm sorry if you guys watch my videos a lot. But why don't they have something in this game where, ever like, dude, there's like 30 maps. Why is there not like some kind of a secret coding thing where it's like you can't get the same map twice in a row unless you burn an offering for it, right? Like, there's only five people in a game. So even if they, even if all five of us, oops, I, 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 that was a fat finger. Even if all five of, five of us played on a different map last game, you can block five maps and that still leaves like 20 some maps to choose from, right? Like that, it's not like that would be severely limiting anything. Like we, like we would be fine. We'd be 100% fine. So, I don't know, man. They should add something like that. It's, it's, never, it's really no fun to play. I mean, playing the same map twice in a row isn't in the world, but like when you get the same map like three, four times in a row, that's when shit gets real depressing. You know what I mean? Especially if it's a shitty map. Like imagine getting like Larry's like four times in a row. Like, oh God, dude, that's like a turn off the game and take a break for the night kind of a, kind of a moment. You know what I mean? Okay, this Leon seems pretty clueless. I need to, I need to like, I need to pay more attention than I usually do when I'm when I'm going for these challenges. I need to actually kind of focus up, right? We gotta like we gotta do some some intel scouting, okay? Um, now I'm sorry if any of these players are in are like watching the video later or anything, okay? I don't mean I don't mean to be rude or anything, okay? With my comments, I'm sorry, but I'm just making a mental note. Leon, not very good in chase. Not very good in chase. I can maybe take advantage of that later, you know? Maybe in the end game if I need a quick down just to create some pressure. Leon might be my guy, you know? He might be my guy. So, we'll see. Someone unhooked him. He's rocking away. Who unhooked this guy? <laughs> okay. Well, they're all down there. That tells me. Thank you, Rancor. Literally, all four people are down here. We kind of have, like, a little four gen set up down there, too, which is interesting. I don't know if I'm actually going to try to hold it. I think holding down a three gen or a four gen is actually really bad with this build because I want to put on... I want to put hats on at, uh, at one gen, and I don't want to like stall the game out then right like i want i want to put hats on at one gen and then i want that last gen to get done like immediately afterwards like i don't want to sit there and hold down a three gen and let them take off their bear traps right i want their bear traps to activate in the end game all right more info someone was in basement there that's interesting this guy's obsession which is nice i can get stacks to remember me without them even knowing yet that i have nemesis like i haven't even used nemesis yet so that's nice like, the, the, the longer I can keep that hidden, the better, too, right? Because it's, again, it, it depends on, like, I guess it depends a lot on if I'm playing against a survivor with friends and also, like, how much they're communicating and stuff. But hypothetically, if they, like, the obsession can know that I have Rancor because they see my aura whenever a gen pops. Um, and if someone finds out about Nemesis, then they're like, oh, God, Nemesis Rancor, right? Like, it, it's pretty realistically possible for them to just scout out what I'm doing, like, right away. <laughs> So hiding my uh, hiding my nemesis is actually a pretty good idea. They booned up. They popped two gens way down there. We're kind of doing the same thing as last time. They're like they're doing gens by the main building. I just saw a crow fly to the left. They're 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 uh, doing gens by the main building, and we're kind of holding down the shack side of the map. It's the exact same thing that happened last time. The crow was like the crow was over here somewhere, but I didn't see exactly where. I kind of just saw it in the distance. Shit. Shit. Oh, right there. I just saw her. Hmm. Okay, so I hooked Leon. I hooked one of the fangs. Oh, there's two fangs. I hooked Brother Dave. So this so so uh, this fang still needs hook for no way out. And so does Meg. Right, 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 right. I'm cool with chasing down here. Again, there's no objectives down here, so like like logically, this is a bad chase to take, kind of, but also Okay, these guys are very like hold W. Like this dude didn't even stop at that pallet, which is interesting. I mean I guess he has a pretty good pallet here, but Oh god, I like got air on that rock when I didn't mean to, and she has live fuck. Damn, 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 damn. Will she throw a god pallet? I'd actually be okay with God Pallet being thrown. If he did. Fuck. I didn't want to get stunned though. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I have to harass these guys at least a little. No! Fuck, dude! I don't want to actually get stunned by these pallets. Fuck! I want to just take the hit and have that be the end of it. Fuck! I'm fucking this up, dude. Shit, 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 shit. Son of a bitch, fuck. God damn it, this one's going way less well. This one is not going anywhere near as well. This guy should be oblivious, though. Oh, he's right there. He probably just saw me. Yeah, and they're getting down, dude. They're like the gens. Shit. And we're still missing stacks in no way out. 
we've already hooked this guy, so like, the, the like, I, like I don't even want to chase him. I want to get someone that that hasn't been a no way out stack yet. I need either Meg or the other Fang. Like this guy doesn't help me either. Fuck, dude. And someone just booned up somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah, this one's going really poorly. Like, I feel like last game went really, really well. The entire setup, the whole way until, like, the end went really, really well. This one, I feel like, is going less well. I'm going to slug him. It's funny, because we're actually in our 4 gen down here. The other Fang is who booned up and then healed, I think. Fuck. Because that's who I need. Shit. Hey, Megan. You're somebody that I'm down with downing, too. I'm going to not kick that. I'm okay with that gen getting done. Was that overcome? Holy shit, she was fast. I guess it could have been Sprint Burst, too. Okay, the boon's here. That's actually... I'll, I'll kick that later. I need to get her down. Don't throw it. No, I was trying to very clearly go to the side so she wouldn't throw it. I was trying to make it very, very obvious that I wasn't going to fucking... God damn it. Mm, will they pop that gen? Will they pop that gen? Will they pop that gen? They're taking forever. I don't care. I'm going to hook her. I was trying to make it very abundantly clear that I wasn't going to make a play at the at the gen. I was trying to make it very obvious. Like, painfully obvious. Or wait, not the gen, the pallet. So that she wouldn't throw it. But she just did not care. She was like, I don't give a fuck, dog. I'm throwing it anyway. Okay, let's go get rid of this boon. There's the other fang. We need, we need that boy goon. Is who we need for our last stack of No Way Out. At some point, I would like to just smack the obsession randomly, too, to get my last stack of uh, Remember Me as well. That gen's almost done, which is okay. We can let that one go. Once that one goes, we can start hatting people. I want to check on the progress of the other gens. Make sure none of them are too far. I know they're all worked on a little bit. Like, all of them have some progress. I just need to make sure that none of them have a fuck ton of progress. That Fang is likely going to reboon. Okay, I can start hatting people now. I didn't even see Rancor, dude. I was like in the middle of a kick. I was trying to turn around and see Rancor. I saw like a dude over there and I think I saw a guy over there too. But it was so hard to tell. Shit, that didn't tell me anything. That didn't tell me shit. See, now we're stuck in this weird three gen situation. See, this is not really what I wanted. This is not the Fang I want. This is the other Fang. We're stuck in this weird three gen situation now where they're probably just going to run away every time I chase them. Like they're probably going to hold W down on the other side of the map, right? Like down here, which is kind of a problem. I mean, I guess I can down her and put a hat on her. Huh. Maybe, maybe the play here is just to now just fully commit to people, right? Just fully commit to people and just let them pop this gen, right? Like this gen has a lot of progress. This is the thing that I would like to hook. Like the play now might be literally just to fully commit to people and then just try to, uh, especially this guy. Like I think I want to fully commit to this guy. If he can, if he can stun me at some point and become the obsession, that'd be even better. Because if I can fully commit to him, down him, I would like to get more hats though. I'd like to put more hats on people if possible. Really, you went around the backside. What the fuck? What the fuck? She didn't stun me. No, dude, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Can I hook her before they uh, before they tap a, a, a gate? Probably not. Fuck, I couldn't. Shit. Ah, this is not good. This is not good. I need the obsession. The obsession surely did this gen. She surely did this gen. But then I think she got scared when she saw that she was exposed, I would guess. No, she's right here. She's trying to take her hat off. Okay, we can kill her. We have some pressure right now. This is this is this is so far. This is okay. She just got unhooked. Shit. She has a hat on. It's not even active. Is it active? No, it's not even active. Fuck! I didn't even get the hat down before they finished the gen. Fuck, man. Yeah, this is this uh, like this one just kind of went poorly. I mean, there's still a chance we can pull it off if we like play this perfectly. But it's pretty unlikely. Man, they have a boon here. She healed up really quick. Uh, fuck. I don't know where she went. She went way over there, dude. She's going like literally as far away as humanly possible to both exit gates. Yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it. There's no way. There's just too, there's just too many people. Fuck, man. Because now I gotta like I gotta keep an eye on both gates to make sure they're not opening them. 
while also trying to get another person out. And there are they're pressuring both. There were scratch marks at this at this exit gate. But I can't even really commit to it because I have to protect this one. This one's like really far along. Yeah, this ain't looking like it. This ain't looking like it at all, right? She needs to stun me and then let me. Like, do I even commit to this? I don't think I even commit to this. I don't think I can. She has overcome or something, so she's like in Narnia. This exit gate is almost surely being opened by the guy that was here. Yeah, it has so much progress. God damn. Is it? It's literally open, isn't it? Fuck. Yep, that's it. He's out. Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't leave. You don't have to, It's okay. You don't have to leave. It's okay. I'm just kidding, dude. You can come in and you can totally save your teammates. It's fine. The Meg healed too. Probably in that boon that was over there that I never snuffed. I didn't really have time to. She's going to be coming back. Yeah, there's just no way. There's just no way, dude. Plus, plus the other exit gate's open, so they can just run it. They like they can just run there. Yeah, she's like she's just gonna run there. She doesn't even have to go for that exit gate anymore. Man, <laughs> fuck. This one went way more poorly. Like I, 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 it was close. It was close. I think what I think what I needed to do is I needed to create more pressure. Uh, like I should have slugged the last couple of people that I downed. I think I, I was too hyper focused on getting my last second no way out. But honestly, I think. Three stacks of no way out isn't that bad. I think what's more important is having a lot of pressure when the final gen pops, right? Like ideally when the final gen pops, you want to have like like two people like downed and hooked at the same time, right? That you can work with. Like you want to have like two people that are basically like incapacitated in some way that aren't able to do anything that need like help. And I think that's way more important than stacks of no way out. I mean, stacks of no way out is just 12 more seconds of, of waiting. Whereas like, Having global map pressure is so much better. So I think that was kind of a fuck up. I also only got value out of one bear trap, I think, right? Like I was saving all my bear traps for one gen left and maybe I shouldn't have done that because I only got value out of one out of four, which wasn't good either. There was definitely a lot of things I could have did different that game. I kind of like took a risk by saving everything and, you know, trying to greed that last sack of no way out. I think I just kind of played it greedy and it kind of backfired. So what are you going to do? Fuck, man. The first attempt was so good. It was, I literally like had it. Like the first attempt was literally it. And then the second one was just a flop, dude. It was just a big old flop. Damn, man. Bummer. Fucking bummer. Well, GG's. GG's. I had fun regardless, so GG's. All right, guys. That's it for this video. Uh, let me know what you think about the challenge. And also, let me know if you have a idea for how I can do this that's different than this. Although, I think this is a pretty solid one, right? I've heard a suggestion of using spirit and using the add-on that makes it so you get your power back when you get stunned. Is that what it is? they're breaking a powder wall i mean either this or the one where it, where it comes back when you get stunned there's one where it comes back when you get stunned too this one like i heard about that and then basically getting stunned and then instantly going into your power and then like getting the person that stunned you and one shot downing them or whatever which could maybe be possible but i don't know i feel like the extra the extra pressure you get from from reverse bear traps feels like it might be better to me maybe i don't know i don't know like that's definitely an option that you could do uh but i'm just not 100 percent um, yeah, I don't know. Let me guys know your thoughts. I think, I think this build could work. I mean, fuck, that first game was literally it. It came, it literally just came down to Hatch RNG. If Hatch would have spawned, like, near me, then that was literally 100% it, and I would have had it 100%. So I think this is the build. I think this, I think this, this is clearly, like, capable of achieving it. It's just a matter of getting the correct, like, RNG, I guess. Um, but anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Leave the video a like. Feel free to comment any suggestions you guys have. Uh, subscribe if you want, because I'm uploading almost daily. And also stop by my live stream. I'm live on Twitch six nights a week over at twitch.tv slash otofu. So feel free to stop by and say hello. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time, until next time, what the fuck am I saying? Until next time, I will see you guys later. I'm out of here. See ya. Take care. See ya. Uh, see you later. See ya.